Nah, I fucked with that. Yeah. Look at how he talks to these niggas. Yeah, yo. Yo, turn that shit up. Turn that shit the fuck up. Turn right now. Talking that shit. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, yo. Yo. When you up and you winning, shit is awesome. Never felt real pain till a nigga lost one. If somebody take from you, what it's gonna cost them? Tired of niggas acting like they really put in work. Hit the boss, come be yourself. It'll do you better in the long run and see yourself staring down a barrel of a long gun. Some rappers never had no street cred, so they bought some. But, 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 just, but go back to what I'm saying. You know, it's not obvious until you get put in that position. Man, that's, what it is Pause. is, first off, that was crazy. we thrive off of negativity. Right. Like that whole shit, motherfuckers say, or oh, too late, and, and they make you wear a dress. First off, a nigga can't make a nigga wear a dress. Nigga you choose to wear it if you yeah, want. Right. And then if you want to do that, Marlon Wayans, it's, but it's a situation you're going to lose if you talk about it. Because the narrative is like, I'm not saying I would wear a dress. I've been in situations where motherfuckers try to get me to do something outside of how I felt, and I bounced. Was it the dress? It wasn't a dress. It was booty shorts. Same thing. It was a show on Comedy <laughs> Central. They had this one same white boy human, because they love all that shit. They love all the... Yeah. White boys love all the frat boy shit. Nuts yeah. and balls. Ha ha ha. They love that shit. They can't do that. Yo, then the nuts was like, ha, oh, that's gonna rip. <laughs> they love, oh my God, that's so fucking funny, <laughs> Darnell. Right? They love that shit. It was a scene where they said that... They, they said... All right, you lose this challenge, rap, and you got to wear booty shorts. I said, I don't fuck with no booty shorts, right? They was like, they walked away, right? Uh, the young lady, bitch queen, whatever you want to say, right. comes young lady, back, bitch queen. and she say, uh, well, the producers want to let you know that if you decide not to do this part of the challenge, it could dramatically, uh, it could dramatically affect your continuation with this show. I said, well, tell them it's my last day. You ain't got to, you have an option to turn it down or not. And but, then you, but if you'd have worn the booty shorts. What? I'd have played myself. But would you be like? Further ahead in your career. Kevin Hart right now? Now, why, you, see, now here's the thing. Why you asked me about the booty shorts and I said I, didn't, I wasn't going to wear them. Right. You should have asked me if. You'd be like, my nigga, you ain't wear them. Now you want to see how far I would have took it. You, <laughs> you trying to put me in a dress, nigga. You try, you see, you trying to put me in a no, dress on the low. Yes, you did. You trying to put me in a dress. No dresses, no booty shorts. So, None of that so how do you feel when you and see your peers? Wait, wait, you say, Kevin Hart, my peers, look, I put it like this. Especially when it comes to comedy, I'm not saying I would do it or whatever. I just think that's comedy. I don't think it's a representation of who you are, of your courage or anything. If you want to take it like that far, one of the greatest motherfuckers that was one of the baddest black motherfuckers that owned the rights to this show and everything. Flip Wilson. Flip Wilson, Geraldine, right. you know, Mrs. Doubtfire, so whatever. So that's just, that's just some shit we want to put out there. And it's easier for us to be able to talk shit about that. Right. And I'm going to tell you another motherfucking thing about the dress. I did Wild and Out two years ago, right? Right. Tyler Perry Studios, right? You ever been to Tyler Perry Studios? No. Let me tell you something. Anybody, if you go there, it's Fort Knox. It used to be an old military base. When you, there's no way, as a black person, going through those gates, you will not feel what a come up is and what makes it is. You go through that motherfucking gate, you went through the gate, got these big ass projection screens and shit, right? Then you go down, you drive it two miles before you make a right. When you make a right, you know you're making a right on? You see a studio, Harry Belafonte studio, Oprah Winfrey studio, all the biggest black entertainers in there, all of this. And then I'm going through the gates, made a right, Harry Belafonte studio, Oprah mm -hmm. Winfrey. And I look back at the gate, I was like, from a dress? Hmm. Hmm. So you might wear it. <clears throat> You gonna stop, Seth. You gonna stop, Seth. You gonna stop. I can feel it. No, I'm not saying that. But the point I'm making is the point I'm the point, the point I'm making. Nah, this nigga. Yo, 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 I'm about to get some dress that. merch. Fuck the dress. And just have niggas burn the dress up. But no, when I said that, right. I'm saying like you can hate on the way, whatever you however you want. I said, but that motherfucking dress, look what it did. Mm. And niggas can come at me off of this shit. They be like, oh yeah, yeah but, but, but that's, a, that's a different Man, situation. Man, fuck that dress shit. It's a different Man, situation. That's, you know, let me tell you something. Niggas need something to be mad about and be upset about. Don't put the motherfucker. Ving Rhames, <clears throat> Holiday Heart, 
Mm-hmm. He played a transgender. What is it? Yeah, because I'll be saying the wrong alphabet shit, and you know you'll get fucked up if you don't say it the right way. Right, right. Yeah. But this big, strong motherfucker will address to play a character, Holiday Hart. Out of everybody talking about what, why ain't nobody stepping the thing rings about him wearing a dress in Holiday Hart? It was a character. And when it comes to that stuff, it's a character. I, that, that's just my thought on it. Well, I, they're saying oh, wearing, wearing that is the rite of passage to get to the next level. Of I mean, that's it's, bullshit. A, it's a humiliation that's what uh, ritual or whatever. But all right, so I got to ask this question. Um, why didn't you wear it? I never was. Why, why didn't you I, wear the booty shorts? Because that's I wasn't I wasn't uh, didn't want to present myself that way. And, and, and another reason was you're not going to make me do something. Mm-hmm. That's it. And mm-hmm. I, that, that's clown shit. I don't have to do that. Right. Do you feel I like I don't have to do that. I don't have to never, ever, I don't have, never have to ever, ever do another acting job the day of my life. The number one thing a comedian want to do is to be able to work where you can put your name on the marquee. I can do fucking seven figures a year mm-hmm. cracking jokes. I don't need no acceptance from the industry. And that's what another thing about these motherfuckers always talking about this shit, about Hollywood and being blackball. Right now, you in a position where you don't need acceptance from anybody. I've got 32 years in the game. Back in the day, you had to get acceptance from everybody. NBC's got to like, the only way I'm going to make money is on NBC. But now, with this shit right here, this shit right here, you don't have to wear the dress. You don't have to suck a dick. Go do it yourself. Bet on yourself. <laughs> Go suck the dick yourself. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, no. Nah, nah. Edit, edit. Nah. Nah, no dick sucking. No dick sucking. Nah, fuck that, nigga. Give me some Hennessy, nigga. I can't do this vodka. I need some true sales, son. No, but what I'm saying is, uh, what, what I'm saying with, with all the pressures, what, what I'm saying is, with, with, with all the pressures have been accepted, you don't got to be accepted this, you don't got to be accepted by the industry anymore. Right. The industry, the way it normally works, is dead. Even in music, ARs dead. Managers A&R, and agents, A and Rs dead. You needed at one point, you needed somebody to take you from this to these people seeing you. Yeah. Now with social media and what we got now, you can do your own shit. Right. You can say, but niggas are scared to say, niggas are scared to say, fuck them. And the reason why, because they still want to be aligned with them. They still want to be aligned with the networks. Because, say, fuck because the networks. Because we know why, right? Because they, they have all the connections to the places that you want to be. They can make you a star faster than you can make yourself a star. No, you You know what? I disagree with that. Are we talking music or entertainment? Or, or yeah, com- because if we talk talking music. I, well, I don't, I'm not in the music side, but yeah. I think, I, I really believe... In every form of entertainment. And the reason why I say that, how many fucking new artists you know that pop off of a TikTok video? I don't say they're great artists. How many motherfuckers you know had a fucking something that went viral? Now, what it yeah. is, is the lazy nigga can't do it. You got all the resources. The resources right here. It might be a longer, it might be a longer, it might be a longer. It's, right. that's, not, that's, not longer exact, that's not exactly true when it comes to music. You're not wrong, but you're not exactly right. I ain't a music nigga, you are. Right, right. right. So I'm telling you. However, do you feel, as a, as a comedy actor, do you feel that not putting on the dress has hindered you? Not going to those parties has hindered your career? I've been to some of the parties. No, but yeah. not. You've been but to not, some of the parties? You, but you no, I mean, the, 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 no. Yo, what we doing? <laughs> what we doing? What we doing? You should have stayed here. You didn't get excited about the party. You should have stayed here. No, no. I've been, no. I been, I been to some parties. I was like, you get happy about the party. So. No, I'm just like, no, I didn't been surprised. I was like this. I didn't been surprised. I this, yo. I don't know what's going on in that back room, but niggas is coming out wired up out of that motherfucker, mm. and I removed myself from it. Right. But that's my point. Do you think is it is there truth to the to the to the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not the merit. Homeboy did truth? his nuts grab. No, not definitely you not that. About? Is there truth to the to the. Uh, to the point of view, I, I'm losing the word. Is there truth in to the some idea cases, that in some cases, not doing these things hinders your career or doing these things is a, right. gate, I say to hinder it. a bigger career? I ain't right. saying hinder it. I will say you got to take a different route. Nothing's going to hinder my career. I've been doing it for 32 years, and I still feel like I've been doing it for the first year. It won't hinder it. Now, I'll give you a case. With that, com- that show that I was talking about, guess what? Had I agreed to that, I would have been in good grace with them. Mm-hmm. Oh, this nigga will do anything. 
Mm. You know, and then I would have been favored by them. But I didn't give a fuck about being favored by them because at the end of the day, the, 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 at the end of the day, the only person I really answer to is my fans. Right. Them the only niggas can stop your shit. Once they stop fucking with you, you dead. Where my dogs at? Yeah, welcome me back. Where my dogs at? Yeah, welcome me back. Where my dogs at? Yeah, welcome me back. It's nine niggas single again. Yeah, I'm single. In the club trying to mingle. Fuck relationships cause a nigga never been for. Can't have just one like a Pringle. So I'ma keep it simple. Listen here. Icy on my wrist away. No guilt, I'm in the clear. Photos of my ex on my Instagram disappear. Single in the club trying to mingle relationships cause a nigga never been